Team, oh, I can't, oh, man, I'm over here about to break my mic. Team, keep it clean. What's going on? Uh, we got some some super exciting news for Baltimore Ravens fans. And, I mean, I, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves because nothing is official, nothing is confirmed, nothing has even been said. Uh, but, anyway, Mark Andrews, who we know right now is on injury reserve, who we know had that nasty injury in the Bengals game, who I thought, I remember initially when he first got injured, I thought, oh, yeah, he got up. Maybe even if, if he sits it out the rest of this game, then he'll be back the very next game. But, nope, that obviously didn't happen. Uh, and he has been out ever since um and it was only said that mark andrews may there is an outside chance that mark andrews could possibly be back for the playoffs for some time in the playoffs and it's also been said that he could possibly be back if the ravens make a deep playoff run which i expect them to fully again i, I expect the baltimore ravens to win the super bowl this year i i really do um so anyway mark andrews he was in the locker room today and I know some people may be thinking, well, Mark Andrews, he's a Baltimore Raven. Uh, he should be in the locker room, buddy. Of course. He, why wouldn't he be? Well, uh, the significance, two things. One, Jess Rebick pointed out that this is the first time that the media has seen Mark Andrews in the locker room since his injury. But then there's another thing. He said, but Andrews has been in the building rehabbing for the last few weeks. Now, I know you're still probably like, oh, okay, that's normal, that's regular, what's the big deal? It's not, what's exciting about that? Mark Andrews is just doing what he's supposed to be doing, this part. He said that Mark Andrews, because uh, somebody asked him, well, well did, did he have crutches? Because you know Mark Andrews' injury, he had crutches, right? And Jeff, Jeff Zerubik said, no, he did not. He didn't have any crutches on. So what that means is that his leg is strong enough to where he ain't got to be assisted around when it comes to walking and whatnot. Now, that could still mean that he is still a bit a bit of ways off from returning. But that does give me this tiny glimmer of hope that Mark Andrews could possibly be back when it comes to the playoffs. Now, um, something that I always talk about uh, when it comes to injuries, especially with the Baltimore Ravens, especially for things that we've seen in recent years, we feel like guys have came back too early from their injuries. It's happened time and time again where a guy comes back too early and then he ends up being out for an extended period of time and even longer period of time. Um, so I always say, look, the person, if they get injured and they're not 100%, like, just they, let, let, let them sit. But in my opinion, this situation would be different. Reason being, because like Lamar Jackson did say a couple of weeks ago, we only got this team once. Only got this team once. Mark Andrews, with how special of a player he is, with how special this team is, these Baltimore Ravens, I would not be mad at him. Now, of course, if, if he's like 50%, 55%, no, don't, uh -uh, don't do it. If he's even 65%, no. But if he's 75%, 80%, 85%, 89%, and he want to push it, I, I wouldn't be mad at it just to see if he can give it a go, see how good he could be. If he would be hindering the team, then no, you could sit, let Isaiah Likely continue to do his thing. But if he could help, if he could really help and be the Mark Andrews that we know and love and miss, then I would be all for it. Like, y'all know me with Kyle Hamilton. I was saying when Kyle Hamilton got hurt, I'm like, oh, okay, all right. He, he left the, the Rams game two times in that game because he left and came back, and then he left again. But I was saying with Kyle Hamilton, like, all right, he left the Rams game and he stayed out. Just sit him in a Jaguars game. Even if he come back, he could come back to the 49ers game, but uh, the, the Dolphins game, that's, that's more important. The Dolphins and the Steelers game to close out the season, those are more important because those are AFC games. But Kyle Hamilton said, Engraving, you, hey, 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 you, buddy, shut up. You're wrong. You don't know me. You, you, you don't know about my injury. I got this. And he proved me all kinds of wrong because he was out there the very next game. Didn't miss a single practice. Had the knee brace on, so I'm thinking, oh, he practicing with a knee brace on? Uh, yeah, he probably ain't going to play. Raven's going to play a safe. He, ain't he played, and he played excellent, and he was the Kyle Hamilton that we know. Now, somebody in the comment section of a video that we talked about with Kyle Hamilton's injury, they talked about how Kyle Hamilton, he's young. He's very young, so his body will respond a lot differently and a lot quicker to an injury than somebody who's a little bit older would. And I said, man, that is such a great point, and that's something that I didn't even think about. And obviously, that was right because, again, he was out there. 
he was out there and he was balling. Like it wasn't like Kyle Hamilton was out there and he was just barely getting along. Like he was barely moving and he was barely able to lift up his leg. Anything. No, no, no. Kyle Hamilton was out there killing it, crushing it. So the fact that if, if Mark Andrews can come back, even if he come back a little bit early, if he can be a help to the team, I'm all for it. I, I, I am all for it all day. Now on the flip side, well, not necessarily on the flip side, but on another side, uh, Isaiah Likely. One thing that's a great thing about this situation um, is that with Isaiah Likely, even though Mark Andrews has been out, Isaiah Likely has stepped up. Isaiah Likely and Lamar Jackson's connection has just, it, it has improved so much. They have just surpassed our level of expectation with what we expected them to be and, and how good we expected them to get. Like, they've, they've passed that. Because, like, I thought, like, okay, man, Isaiah Likely is going to be him and Charlie Kohler. Uh, yeah, they might get involved a little bit here and there. What? Nah, they ain't going to be nothing too crazy. Isaiah Likely said, hey, and great, look, 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 hey, you, you, shut up. You're going to be, watch this. Watch what I got. Watch what I'm about to do. Because, again, we have seen in the past where when, when Mark Andrews has been out, even though Mark Andrews is rarely, hardly ever out, but when Mark Andrews is out, Isaiah Likely, he's gotten involved and he's done his thing. Um, but when Mark Andrews has been in, the, the Ravens have just, they haven't been able to get Lamar and Isaiah Likely on the same page consistently. Uh, but, again, he was a backup tight end, and Ravens have so many other weapons and whatnot, which is a beautiful thing to say. They have so many other weapons, and for him being a backup tight end, like, he's behind a lot of people uh, in, the, in the pecking order when it comes to getting the football. Uh, but now, with Mark Andrews having been out, Isaiah Likely in, he just, he'd been crushing it. So, the fact that Isaiah likely has been playing how he's been playing in Mark Andrews' absence has been a, a beautiful thing. So we always talk about next man up, and that is a saying that Baltimore Ravens fans know more than any other fan base ever because, oh my goodness, <laughs> Woo, especially these past like four or five years, these past two, three years, we, we know all about next man up. And oh, we, we, we hate hearing it, but it is what it is. But Isaiah Likely has been a, a great example of that. But if the Baltimore Ravens could get Mark Andrews back for these playoffs, for the playoff run, for how, if they can get him back at some point and he can contribute, whew, that would be a beautiful thing. I, I would love that. Now, uh, somebody who the Baltimore Ravens lost for a little bit, uh, Javon, a uh, practice or two, was Zay Flowers. He said he had some soreness in his foot. So he was dealing with a little... A little injury, and again, he, everybody banged up at this point of the year. It, it's the end of the football season. But yesterday, Zay Flowers, he returned to practice. And that, oh, that was a beautiful thing to see. I loved it. I loved it. And, and if y'all saw Lamar Jackson's story, I remember when I first saw it, I was cracking up. Because I was like, oh, yeah, because Zay Flowers did a little pose. And, you know, y'all yeah, saw it. I'm sure y'all saw it already. But Zay Flowers is back. And boy, when, when they said he missed practice, I was like, ooh. And they said he had, he had some soreness with his foot after the game. I was like, ooh. Uh, may, maybe he was just tired of motion and all that and not getting the ball all game. He was just tired of running and all that. He said, man, I, I need a break. I, I'm, I'm sore from doing all this running that I was doing in Jacksonville, and I ain't hardly get involved. So, Zay Flowers, don't worry. Against them 49ers, we got you. We got you, my friend. Trust. Trust. Um, and also, uh, somebody else who was banged up, and he, he, he really been banged up all year. Shout out to my guy. Though. But Odell Beckham Jr., um, he also returned to practice as well. So this is just beautiful, beautiful day uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Beautiful, be beautiful week for the Baltimore Ravens. Things are great. Things are going amazing. Um, I hope all of y'all are doing great. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single update, not a single video, not a single anything on these Baltimore Ravens or anything that's going on across the league. And leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton, a ton. Now we got this big game coming up against the San Francisco 49ers. And so many different predictions, so many different analysts saying this, that, and a third. Uh, we saw, on, uh, what was it, ESPN? They called the Ravens 11-4 and four already. 11-4 and four already? Did they, did they leak the script? What's going on? 
But we'll see how this game goes. This is going to be like it has all the hype in the world going into it. We just know that it's going to live up to it. We know it's going to be a crazy game. We know it's going to be a stressful game. We know it's going to be a tough game. Some people feel like the Ravens are going to win. And some Ravens fans feel like the Ravens are going to lose. And some Ravens fans are like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. We'll just deal with it. But this game is, is, is very exciting. We're getting closer and closer. Uh, today is Friday. So we got three more days. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I know a lot of y'all going to be like, man, we got to wait till Monday night. But I promise you it will be worth the wait. This game should be amazing. But the game could never be as amazing as y'all are. Team Keep It Clean, I love you. I appreciate you. We out.